Digimon World, Next Order. Hey guys, welcome back to Digimon World Next Order. That's not what we're playing. It's not? No, oh. get that out of here. Okay. Go, shoot. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So who's, who's your girlfriend, Jer? All right. So in the last episode, we were trying to find out who was going to be my waifu. Mm -hmm. And and it's between record store girl, Raiko, and babe, babe with the lavender hair, Mire. Is the answer Felicity Smoke? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's actually record store girl, Raiko. Okay. Cool. She's babe for life. All right. She's waifu. I'm sorry, Mire. I love you. It's but okay. I just want to be friends. I mean, my character. I don't have a character in the game, but like if I did, mm -hmm. they could get together with Mire because she looks a lot like Abigail, who's the girl that I'm trying to marry in Stardew Valley. <laughs> I thought you weren't trying to marry her in Stardew Valley. No, I am trying to marry. No, 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 no. I didn't want to marry Emily. All right, let's not get into this. <laughs> So basically, I'm just trying to chase Edamon down, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. He's playing hard to get. Mm-hmm. You, you gotta you gotta chase him down like like a hound dog, right? Yeah, basically. But, you know, <laughs> he, he ain't nothing like a hound dog. Yeah. Uh, oh, man. What was my... I, uh, I had a thing. I was like, you are not anything except... Uh, like, you are not anything except for a canine wailing mournfully all the time. <laughs> like you're trying to do the song except badly? Yeah. <laughs> you're not anything but a canine wailing mournfully all the time. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know what? I actually have a, I actually have a topic that okay. I want to talk about. Give it to me. Uh, well, first let's get through this. That oh, we mind. gotta we gotta find all this. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're gonna you're gonna break carrot away. Wait, is it is it possible you become such a rabid fan of me, Emma? Such a fierce fandom is that just spiraled into a, an obsession. Hoo, ha! <laughs> that love, Hoo, over that love, Hoo, turned into a cruel hatred. You kill me so that no, well, no one else can have me. Hoo, no, I can't allow that. I simply too much for one hacker to handle. All right. So the topic I want to talk about all right. is so there. So Kit Kats, we all love them. It breaks me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar, right? Okay. Yeah, it's it's one of the most delicious chocolates out there. All right. And so there is. They, I don't know how recent it is, but they came out with a new candy called Mini Kit Kats. Okay. Now, as we all know, the lo the motto for Kit Kats is break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Okay. How am I going to break you off a piece of that Kit Kat bar if there is, if, if they're if all it's tiny, just a tiny little Yeah, piece. exactly. That's not a Kit Kat bar. Boom, problem solved. It's just a Kit Kat, but it's not a bar. It's just a it's just a little Kit Kat mini. It's a totally different animal. <gasps> I mean you're like, hey man, go milk the cows, and then I go out there and I'm like, but this is a bull, and you're like, exactly, that's not a cow. Same thing. Bro, you're so right, except for that example, but <laughs> you're right about the Kit Kats <laughs> minis. So let me ask you a question. Alright. Okay. Brunch, right? So are we still on this? It's, hang on. So, well, let me explain what's happening first. <laughs> okay. Uh, basically, basically he came to say he's sorry, and about putting the CDs up all over the store and okay. stuff like that. And then, but then she's eventually like, like your music isn't bad. It's just new age, blah blah blah. Trans, it's like a transcendent genre. Like people will learn to love it, like eventually. Like it's it transcended my ears. Yeah, basically. And my ovaries. <laughs> basically, she's like, she'll get, she'll try to talk to the manager, like see about putting up a few of them up, like actually for sale. Right on. If people might actually like it, 
And then okay. he's like, like, I'm so glad I, I finally have a fan of my work and blah, blah, blah. And uh, so we get back to the place and then she's talk. She she's basically telling me like how she just, how she wants to help the world, like make the world better with music. Okay. And it's like, I want the world to find their favorite soundtrack. Okay. And stuff like that. That's cool. Yeah. I, I see why you like her. It's my, that's, yeah, that's my girl, Raiko. <clears throat> Love you, girl. I see why you're, why you're down with that sickness. Alright. Well, what would you have to say about brunch? Okay, so brunch. Mm -hmm. So, like, most of the time, in a TV show, in a movie, if you look up stock photos on the internet, if you see people who are in a location, which is probably a brunch spot, right? Right. There is one, there is at least one guy in the picture. Whether he be the gay friend, whether he be one of their boyfriends, a husband who didn't want to come, or he's just like that one friend who's trying to get in all their pants and you just can't, whatever it is, there's always the one guy in the, in, in the scene, which means that all of the girls have gone to lunch or breakfast, breakfast lunch, with their bro, which makes it brunch <laughs> I was gonna just say brunch but bro brunch was even better so that's that's my that's my argument for brunch okay so Kyoko so we're getting back to this because I thought this was pretty funny okay Kyoko is like our agency motto is could you refer him please mm. yeah um, excuse me. Our agency motto is reject not those who come, chase not those who leave. Those who will not work will not eat. My father taught me that. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, we already have a newest favorite subscription. <laughs> no, that's not it. We got a fire exchange tray and the internet too. We've got everything our office needs. Sorry. Um, this is the detective agency, isn't it? Huh? That is the cyber sleuth detective agency? Oh? I... I have a case for you. I am, um, a customer. I mean, a client. A CLIENT! Welcome to the Reliable Crime <laughs> Detective Agency. Please tell us the details of your case. Alright. Well, it's black, and, um, I carry my important papers in it, and, oh. uh, a calculator. And you, like, not. <laughs> I mean, he has a case with him! We get it, alright? It's... it's wordplay. <laughs> yes, exactly! Did, did, uh, what they're doing, it's obsession- Oh. Alright. Yes, people's obsession- when you want something, oh, sorry. if you're lucky, you can get several. <laughs> I'm just going through this. Because right? okay. cool. I thought we were going to continue what we were doing. I know. Yeah, yeah, we can. I'm just like. Alright, so basically, what this guy's talking about is uh, someone stole his Digimon medals. Oh. Uh, yeah. So Wait, so he's a hacker? No. Yes, why, I don't know. Why does he have Digimon if he's not a hacker? Well, he has Digimon medals. Which you use for Digimon. M E. D A L. Yeah, those are things that you use for the Digimon. Like I, those are the things that you find that they like make the Digimon happy. I think or it's just like Pokemon cards. I think it's just stuff you collect. Okay. I never actually seen Digimon medals be used in an actual application. Yeah. Okay. And no, they you don't use them to digivolve them or something like that. Okay. Yeah. But basically, there's gonna be someone in Nakano. We're gonna go ask. He's a Digimon metal salesman. Uh, okay. So we're just gonna go ahead and ask him, like, if if he, cause okay, so the thief stole it, stole the precious metals, right? Okay. Yeah. And <laughs> we're thinking he might have sold them off somewhere, cause what was he, what's he gonna do with Digimon metals besides just look at him? Like he obviously wants money, or it's um, it's more likely that he wants money. Unless there's like a game attached to it, like the uh, the capsule monsters from that one uh, chapter of Yu-Gi-Oh, the manga. Right, but that's not it. I mean, we don't know. You just said you don't know what they are. Well, I mean, <laughs> it could be. It, I no one's mentioned Digimon Metals as like an act for like an actual application. Because it's not important to the game, but maybe it is, or maybe in the Japanese actual translation they did. We don't know. Well, I'm telling you, someone's trying to sell it. All I'm right. telling you. Alright. I mean, 
Fair enough. That's, I mean, I mean yeah, I, sure. I'm all right, look, right. don't get pissy about it, all right? <laughs> I don't like your sauce right now. I don't appreciate the sauce that you're putting in my pasta, all right? I worked really hard on my pasta, and I, I don't appreciate that sauce. You're like, oh, it's ragu, it'll be fine. No, I prefer classical, all right? It's Alfredo. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you like Alfredo? I, I love Alfredo. I so do I. Who doesn't like Alfredo? I mean, honestly. I've never met a single person who was like, Alfredo, that's gross. Well, I mean, it's basically just like grown-up macaroni and cheese. I've met a bunch of people who are like, Alfredo's not a cheese. Because it's not. It's a it's a sauce that has, like, cheese well, it, in it. Yeah, but it but tastes... Like, you can taste the cheese. Yeah, it's a dairy thing. And yeah. And, like, anything that's dairy that's not milk is cheese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What are we doing with our life? I don't know. We're talking about Alfredo. Last time I checked. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Lilith's mom is pretty. Yeah? You think so? Wait, who, who's the other blonde? Uh, that's Leopard Mon. We discussed this in like a few episodes back. Did we? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know, man. It's been like weeks. <laughs> it's been like... I think it's been one week. <laughs> it's been like three days. Has it? Yeah. Oh, it has it. Yeah, because I came over here Tuesday. Yeah, but we didn't record. Didn't we? No. We just hung out. I don't know, man. <laughs> I, I've been through an entire like three seasons this this week. Of what? Stardew Valley. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it was spring on Sunday, and now it's almost the middle of winter. The cold winter. I want to play that game. You should. It's fun. I want to play it on the channel. Oh, okay. It looks interesting. It is very interesting. It, here's the thing, though. It's got a lot to it, but you got to know, like, what to focus on. Mm -hmm. Because there are certain things that are easier to get to and easier to access at the beginning of the game. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so, like, you got to prioritize those first. And then work your way to like the the more complex skills like cooking. Right. I got gotcha. you. So basically talking to this guy, okay. and he we think that he might have information on the guy who stole the uh, the okay. the medals because he's he's looking to buy them. Yeah, basically. Okay. And then we name drop Matayoshi. He's like, "What? You know Matayoshi, that old geezer?" And he's like, "You're detective." Your detective agency is a secret up, and we're like, what do you mean by that? And it's like, think like a buddy cop drama. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say that sooner? Good fellow. Yeah. Oh, good lord. Yeah, so now he's freaked out, and he's like, yeah, of course I'll tell you anything you want to know. <laughs> and so basically, it, the, he'd met the guy, but they couldn't agree on a price, so he right. sent him off. Okay. Because he was looking for free, and the other guy was looking for, like, five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he's basically just... Okay. So, yeah, she's basically just confirming. <clears throat> and, uh, actually, she's talking about, like, uh, the guy... The, um, I was able to... I'm able to locate the actual metal. Okay. So, I know where the metal is. If you go to where the metal is, you'll find your crook has a unique ID? Yeah. Privacy setting? What? Prints the owner and is just from being identified. It was a real trick, but the protection on it is pretty darn tough. Hey. <laughs> but anyway, res results of the trace pick up signal across the globe, but there was only one signal in Eden. I would guess this is the client's metal. So yeah, we're just gonna have to go deeper into this place and then we'll find it. You know what? Hmm. I get it. She's quirky that's what it's supposed to be whenever she like starts ranting about random stuff and yeah. then she's like well anyway like she's it's supposed to be a quirk it's not that like they were gonna be like oh this is important nope it, it's just that like that's her trying personality to, yeah that's her personality it's trying her to set herself apart i get it it's just stupid <laughs> you think so yeah like I get it if you do it like a couple times and it's like, oh yeah, she's quirky, so that you can like get the character set up. Right. And then from that point forward, we can just assume that she does that sometimes. Yeah. I wouldn't mind that, but since it's like every conversation you have with her, she's like, 
Well, anyway, the French Revolution was, uh, you know, this thing that <laughs> happened. You're like, okay, so what does that have to do with this frog that just came in through the door? And you're right. like, oh. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> it just, it's just actually very similar to what I'm talking about, you know? Yeah, you know, because, like, the, the frog, you know, that's a term that people use for French people. You know, the frogs, so. Is it? Yeah, it's a kind of a a slur, I guess. Oh, that sucks. Or kind of derogatory. But, it, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of a funny derogatory. The frog? <laughs> yeah, like, look at these frogs. You can't say that with a straight face. Nobody can say the word frogs angrily if you're just like, freaking frogs! <laughs> I mean, it, it, the, the same thing with bubble. Yeah. No one can say bubbles angry. I mean, unless you're... Well, the thing about frogs is, unless you're like Aaron Hansen, and you're like, FROGGY! <laughs> Sorry, I'm being really loud. Oh, you're fine. Um, anyway. Actually, it's um, a good time to end the episode. Next time on podcasts? Yeah. yeah. We'll talk to him in the next episode. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, you should hit that like button. And the subscribe button. And you should also check out some of our other videos on the channel. And be watching out for new videos coming out soon. Yeah. Alright, see you later guys. Meow. <laughs>